scanning for audio. Welcome to the Tin Dog Podcast. Ah, yes. This time we're talking about more Blake 7 in the form of Series 1, Episode 3, Drones. This story, like the other two, all slot together neatly and they form one big story arc. That's not to say that you need to buy them all. They are perfectly decent episodes in themselves. But in drones, we've got something nice, something lovely, and something that to any Star Trek fans of the new film run might feel a little bit familiar. But it was done here first, in the same way that Vulcan appeared on Doctor Who before it ever appeared on Star Trek. Drones takes place immediately after the last story. It's still on Straxis, or more precisely, in orbit around Straxis. Here's the synopsis. The assistance of the Liberator crew is urgently needed on Straxus, but Rog Blake has acute problems of his own. After taking drastic emergency measures, Blake, Villa and Callie teleport back into the war zone in a bid to make new allies, but the Federation is testing advanced new weaponry here, and Villa looks set to be an early target. Written by Mark Platt and directed by Ken Bentley. Yes, this story follows on brilliantly from the story that immediately precedes it. You've got a tremendously strong cast, putting in some brilliant performances here. As always, with this whole series, it's building slowly on the search for Federak, but it also has so many brilliant set pieces, taking the spaceship to places that have never been. The Liberator goes through hell. This is space opera on an epic scale, and it's just plain brilliant. It's making you want to watch the original TV series and just throw yourself into it, but then you know the effects here are just better because they're inside your head. Audio is perhaps the new and better home for science fiction because the effects never age and they never look worse and Orac isn't just a fish tank with some Christmas tree lights. Orac is a worried primary member of the crew. We're having characterization here that they only dreamed of in the 80s and 70s. So yes, some people have got more to do than others in this story, but that was always the case. That allowed them to have better timing and better slotting together of storylines. Not a problem in my book. So I'm going to play the trailer and not give you any more spoilers. Suffice to say that the quest for Federak continues and the Liberator will go on. So until next time, here's the trailer, and be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Code Delta 3, Code Delta 3 to Rog Blake. Get back to us, will you? We need your help. The squadron of pursuit ships will be in attack range in two minutes and thirty seconds. Does the Liberator know that? Confirmed. Ship identified as Rebel Cruiser Liberator. It's showing no signs of life, but we are proceeding with caution. We're turning back towards Traxxas. Towards the satellite screen. It will blow us apart. Requesting further instruction. Do we board Liberator and take prisoners or destroy the wreck? We are entering the planet's outer atmosphere. Can we do that? Can the hull take it without the force wall? We are about to find out. Blake 7. Drones. I never like funerals. How many have you been to? None. I told you I... Yeah, you don't like them. I understand. Exactly. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. 
Available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audioboom and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Mm-hmm.